Usually, if we want to move an object from one scene to another, we select it, go to File, Save Selected, give it a name, and then in the other scene, we use Import, Merge to bring it in. That works, but if you need to do this many times, it can quickly become tedious. We can make this much easier with a script called Copy and Paste Objects. The first step is to download it from a script spot. Once you have downloaded it, just drag and drop it to your 3ds Max scene. After this, the next thing we need to do is to add it to a toolbar and assign some hotkeys. To do this, go to Customize Toolbars. Under the category CG Tools, you're going to see Copy and Paste. Just drag them to a new toolbar or to one you already have. I also like to rename them so they show simply as Copy and Paste. Now, let's set up the hotkeys. Go to Customize Hotkey Editor. In the search box, just type Copy. And then, under CG Tools, you're going to find Copy Objects to File. Select it and then assign a shortcut. For example, Ctrl plus Shift plus C or the one that you prefer. Then, let's search for Paste. Under CG Tools category, we're going to find Paste Objects from File. Select it and then assign Ctrl plus Shift plus V. After this, click the Done button to save your changes. OK, now let's see how it works. In this scene, I'm going to select multiple objects. Then, I'm going to press Ctrl plus Shift plus C or I can also click the button on the toolbar. Then, I'm going to open another 3D matte scene. This is a fresh scene without anything in. I'm going to simply press Ctrl plus Shift plus V to paste it. We can now see that the objects that I copied on the other scene are quickly pasted in this one. And just like that, we can see that the objects have been pasted into this scene. Now, one important note, the new scene has to be running in a separate instance of 3ds Max. If you already have two 3ds Max sessions open before setting up the toolbar and hotkeys, they won't automatically be loaded. In that case, you will need to reload your hotkeys manually. Just open the hotkey editor again, click the gear icon and choose load from file to bring them back. And that's it. Now we have a much faster way to copy and paste objects between 3ds Max scenes without going through the entire export and import process every time. Now, if you want a more advanced option that allows you to have more objects to copy, check out my video on how to use Copytor. I will leave the link in the description. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe button. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. And thank you for watching.